Previously on uh, tribute to Corey Sanders uh, this afternoon coming up. We'll also have a look at some uh, some f- uh, some actual Corey Sanders stuff that we've uh, made. We scoured uh, YouTube and stuff, and uh, including the the Vladimir. Uh, now, which one is it? Let me just double check. Is it Vladimir or Vitaly Klitschko fight? The Vladimir, the one where he knocked him out in the second round. Uh, great memories to win the WBO title, and uh, I remember doing the uh, Vitaly Klitschko fighters. As kind of a, a, a distant ring announcer, I remember Rodney Berman set up a whole thing at Sun City. Were you there, Johnny? Uh, I wasn't Are you at packing that one, up Darren. to go home now? <coughs> no, uh. I, was, I wasn't at that one. Yeah, so uh, the <coughs> fight was at, at like midnight. So Rodney put on an entire undercard at Sun City there yes. for that fight. I remember Isaac Klatsoya also uh, fighting on that, that evening. And uh, I, was, um, I was the only mug who would uh, stay up until that late to do the ring announcing. <laughs> Uh, so I was the ring announcer then and then uh, to intro the fight from Sun City. But there were thousands and thousands of people that turned up to watch that fight. And if you saw the tributes over the weekend to Corey Saunders, uh, one of the key ones was Vitaly Klitschko saying that Corey was the toughest fight that he had. The, just how quick he was and how fast he was and how sniping those jabs of his were. So, uh, and great tributes coming through from Lennox Lewis as well and uh, a whole lot of other people. So we'll, we'll have a look at the uh, one we knocked out Vladimir Klitschko a little later on as well for you this afternoon here on Balls Visual Radio. When did you first meet Corey? Uh, as a young Reagan, in fact, that photograph on our wall there, Naz, you must get a, a shot of it. Have you got it already? Uh, it was right about that time when he was a young up-and-coming heavyweight. Uh, there were some classic fights and stuff where, you know, in the local scene because Johnny Deploy is around then, Pierre Kutzer, Corey. You, you were also heavyweight back then, huh? Uh, no, no, I wasn't actually. I was, you know, have a look there, I was still a lighty. I was like a middleweight, going on a welterweight in those days. <laughs> so, uh, and uh, yeah, there was this uh, this young heavyweight guy, but um, exactly the same as you knew, knew him now, that's what he was like then. Okay. So, as a as, like as a ring announcer, you'd stand there, then they'd come and you'd call them in for their fight, and after like getting to know him after a couple of fights, uh, you'd always go to the change room before, because he wasn't the kind of guy that was big on all the hype and stuff. Uh, so you'd go before just checking all the fight details and weights and all that stuff and go and chat to him and you know Corey you'd know him and uh, and then you know I'd say what nickname are you using today he never knew he'd he's almost be like what do you think <laughs> what do you think I should use today go with sniper I don't know <laughs> yeah well, that's, that's what they call him the sniper because of his his rapid fire jabs and stuff and uh, and then he'd come into the ring after you called him in and he'd be standing there in the uh, in the corner and do the little dance around and he'd dance around and go, Hey so dear can you find out black summer? He was talking to you. Yeah, talking to me, yeah. <laughs> and you'd look at him and he'd have the smirk on his face, you know, that mischievous grin on his face all the time. So yeah, just uh just uh, so Brian's so. arrived. Is uh, Brian here? Yes. Yeah, Brian's yeah. So we'll get Brian in, in just a moment and have a chat I'm to trying him. to remember which way the story went. At the uh, Super Sport shootout I had the uh, the pleasure of sharing a uh, uh, a bungalow with Brian and Corey. So it was the three of us. I think James Small was with us as well. So the four of us in one bungalow. And uh, I was chilling in the room while they'd gone for a practice round and obviously had a few afterwards. And they came back. Uh, they came. Uh, let, let's Brian get in here. You can clear that. Hey, Brian. Hey, my buddy. My condolences, my friend. Uh, go and grab a, uh, Actually, don't sit where John's sitting because he's got flu. Do you, no, no, no. How's can you can use this one? Yeah, Brian. There we go. Yeah, just yeah. grab, yeah. grab this one. Just stand here. Yeah, no, well, just for now, we, we haven't started <coughs> chatting to you yet. We'll get there in a moment when you can settle in. But I've just got to clear up the Super Sport shootout story. Mm. Who was the one that climbed through the window? <laughs> let, me, let me just set up first of all, because, okay, so there was four of us in that bungalow, right? You, because, Corey, um, me and James. Well, I was the smallest. So I, I had to get through the window. <laughs> I thought I got on Corey's shoulders. No, but yeah, hold on a second. So, yeah, I'm lying on the couch now. They'd gone for a practice round, right? And yeah, uh, yeah. sort of uh, so the, hung, hung out a little bit afterwards at the, uh, yeah. at the bar there. And then the guys came back to the room and uh, couldn't find the key. So, so I'm hearing this commotion. I get woken up by this commotion and these two shouting at each other. As uh, I suddenly hear this thud as Mitchell drops into the window, after which Corey then opens the door and walks in. <laughs> yeah, that's a dumb one. Didn't yeah, yeah. Didn't, think about trying the door. <laughs> All right, Brian, Mit- Brian Mitchell is here as we pay tribute to the great Corey Saunders. That's coming up.